Hey guys, Tyler here, and today we're going to take a look at this Hai Huan DIY computer motherboard case rack. And this is a test bench computer case designed for PC enthusiasts and overclockers. And just as a little heads up that this case or frame can support any kind of motherboard form factor such as ATX, MATX, ITX, as well as EATX. But that also comes with the fact that you need to look at which uh, size case or test bench that you're going to get because they do offer four different sizes. Um, one, uh, each one is geared towards one specific motherboard form factor. But there are, you can do, for example, a smaller motherboard in a bigger frame, but you can't do a bigger motherboard in a smaller frame. So one thing that is unique about this packaging is the fact that it doesn't come with an actual manual, but instead it comes with a Google Doc printed to give you a QR code or a actual website towards their manual, which is online. And keep in mind that, ma that the manual, personally in my opinion, is very long. It's only one page manuals. In my opinion, the manual itself, um, I would say needs work. It's not unreadable, but there definitely were some parts throughout the whole build that were just, I had to really DIY a lot of it myself. I mean, obviously, yes, it is a DIY case, but there were some parts where I was very confused on what to do next. But for the packaging, first off, we have our little metal casing frames right here. So this is gonna be like the, the main part holding everything together. We have a big set of screws and washers and all that. We have our little stands that go onto the bottom and actually connect with the desk. We have our GPU um, brackets. We have just another set of lots of screws and bolt-ins and standoffs. We have our red and plastic um, pieces for holding cables or for holding buttons. We also have our power in and reset button right there. And then it also does come with a little small pack of zip ties, which I thought was a really nice feature. It does come with this little little nice pliers, which I actually wasn't including any tools at all. And it does come with this full pack of a screwdriver set with a bunch of different little bits that will help you accomplish the entire build with just that little screwdriver set, which I thought was a really cool um, case scenario and design feature. But as for the manual, this is what I mean when I say that the whole manual is one page long and it's a lot of pages long. So it was very confusing, the manual itself, but everything else was fine by me. Now, skipping over to where I actually put all the parts together, this is what my end result was. Obviously, if you look at this build, it's not really, I know it's made for a test bench, but I actually just wanted more of a unique PC case, and this is exactly what I was looking for. So the build quality itself, I thought was actually really good. I don't like the feel of the plas the feel and the look of the plastic parts that hold the cables and the power buttons, for example, on the bottom right, where those two little silver buttons, that part is plastic holding it. But other than that, I don't really have any complaints build quality wise. I know the whole build, at least this build in particular, came out really nicely. And I am i don't really have any complaints with it other than the really confusing manual. So that is, like I said, time in and time out. That is the only confusing part I've had with this entire build. And if you compare my build to other builds, you'll notice that the handle right here is actually on the side instead of at the top. Just because I wanted it for cable management instead of using it for more of a practicality use. And overall, that was the only DIY I did myself. But there definitely were parts where I had to figure out myself where things went just because I wasn't too clear in the manual.